How are things in Philly right now? Philly cheesesteak with mushroom and onions. I like this little village field flip. And 14 presidents have been cremated. A secretive handshake. Somebody needs to say to me. You have no idea what goes on in here. Good afternoon, guys. Philadelphia, the birthplace of American democracy, and quite honestly, a very uh, impressive, surprisingly beautiful place. It's my second day here. Today, I want to show you the streets, the buildings, talk to some people, eat some food. I love it. I think you'll love it too. Let's do this. All right, guys, before we get into the street life, I want to bring you into a couple buildings here. Uh, the first is Ritz Carlton. Looks like something out of Greece. Here we go. Philadelphia, home to many firsts. First library, hospital, med school, uh, national. First National Capital, Stock Exchange Zoo and Business School. I believe this is called the French Quarter. Some classic beauties, Art Deco. If you're an Art Deco freak, you'll like this city. Here's one of these classic Art Deco entryways. How you doing? Hey, how are you? I was here yesterday, you remember me? Is it cool if I take some photography? Check out these old school, old school elevators. These lights, lighting above on the ceiling. And then you got this, colors changing. Beautiful walls, floor, thank you. You can see how this was once a, a rotary door. I haven't been to Chicago for a long time, but I'm gonna say the architecture here might be second to New York in the country. Uh, just the collection, the different styles. You got this Art Deco beauty. And you got this modern high rise behind it. And then just all this detail here. And then little boutique style stuff tree-lined streets it, it's quite pleasant I gotta say and this is you know the thing I love about Europe is well you get the beautiful architecture and you can walk the streets and they're they're stimulating to the eye and I feel that here but we're at uh, mid-October and the weather is absolutely perfect so we got a lot of this during the COVID times obviously dining outside I'd say people on the streets here um, are very strict with the mask. Most people are fully up. It's hard to talk with this. Uh, so when not around people, like close, I bring it down. But it's interesting to see right now in America what states, well, how states are different with masks and uh, handling the COVID. I believe it's 25% open inside and then it looks like full dining on the outside. So usually the first day in a city is, you don't really have your bearings. The second day you get a little more of the feel and then, you know, in time you start to really understand it. So I'm at that point where it's day two and uh, it feels different than any city I've been to. It's definitely not New York. It doesn't have that pulse of New York, uh, which is cool in its own right. It's it's more of a condensed, user-friendly version, I'd say. You were in the Philippines and Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah, so Subic Bay. It's a military, it was a base. So, uh, it was a naval base. The more I travel the world, the more I realize at least 50% of what I say, I uh, think differently 
<laughs> could be even weeks after, maybe months after, maybe years after, but I was just in Ukraine a few weeks ago and I was saying, hey, in Ukraine, they have these parks where everyone sort of chills and America is too busy. Uh, nobody's really ever doing that. And now I'm here and uh, well, that's not the truth. Very cool, relaxed vibe in here. Philadelphia has some rough parts, but these are not them. You guys are doing a great job here. Ooh. On this street, I don't know, it looks beautiful. Oh, thank you, somebody needs to say it to me. No, it looks, the colors, the blue just bounces, nice. pops. Very yeah. nice. Yeah, I've been doing this for 35 years. 35 years? Yep. You from Philly? Yeah, I'm originally from Philly. Still washing the windows now. Oh, okay. That's right. I paint, I paint the blue and black. How are, how are things in Philly right now? Pretty cool. Uh, people are uh, going about their way. Yeah, it's a little much, much quieter than it was. Yeah. When were the riots? A couple months ago? Yeah, they were back in uh, April. April, okay. May, somewhere around there. Was that scary stuff? They didn't bother me. No, they were just doing their thing. They, they weren't bothering any people. Just expression the way they felt, that's all. Take care. Most of the houses are single no, family. Single families. Cool. Take care. Take care. So the woman there was saying most of these are single families. Uh, but we are very close to the center of the city and it's got like this little village feel to it. You can see their financial center. So it's a very good mixture of this this quiet atmosphere and then busy city. Oh, look at that one. That's so beautiful. What's the name of this neighborhood? This is uh, Queens Village. Queens Village, what's it known for? Like funky shops and that sort of thing? Or? Yeah, it changes at night. It gets a little more ghetto. Okay, but now it's cool? Yeah, now it's cool. You'll see that that's why they have all, they close off the streets. Everybody comes down with their motorcycles. Oh. Uh. Yeah, they raise a ruckus. And... <laughs> but they're super cool neighborhoods. All Rittenhouse is really good. Yeah, like Thank it. you. Yeah. Take care, bro. Thank you. All right, here we got Jim Steaks. This is, uh, from what I've understood, a, a staple, a classic. Some of the best Philly cheesesteak in the city. Maybe a bit touristy, I'm not sure. But look at the design, this is cool. This is Art Deco style. Here we got our Philly cheesesteak master, loading up the bun, all the fixings. <laughs> cheese she's got the meat cooking there all chopped up onions on the other side pressing the bread getting the cheese hot onions in folding over what's up man i'll do a mushroom philly cheesesteak with mushroom and onions i saw you yesterday it was fucking amazing yeah <laughs> dude that's really good Mushrooms, onions, and a very soft hoagie roll. So good. Mm. 
bitch, I just, I'm too cool. My niggas gone, and all I know is splash. For all my niggas gone. Catch him making class, two, two, three, knock off his hood. Tell my eyes, fuck. Thanks, bro. You're welcome. Take care, peace. Take care, you too, thank you. A little bit of everything in here. Tattoo shop, Middle Eastern cuisine. What's this, uh, burgers? God, I love blocks like this where you get about 20, 30 different businesses right on top of each other. From every industry you can think of, there's a haircutting place, Art Mart, Crash Bang Boom. Don't know what that is. Boutique. Uh, I just wanted to update you about a couple of streets. Interesting thing about American cities is quite often you have a street like this, which is a cool, interesting street, but at night the taxi driver said, oh, it's a little bit skittish, a little bit sketchy. And then literally one block over it can be a completely different world. So I'm gonna fast forward this and you'll see what I'm talking about. And here you go, totally different world. I'm sure this is very expensive real estate, beautiful townhomes. Here we have Independence Hall. That's where the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution were both signed. To the right here, uh, right there, I think it is, the Liberty Bell. The symbol for democracy and freedom in America. And then off in the distance, National Constitution Center. So if you're looking for museums, history, uh, there are a ton of museums here. Uh, it would take uh, weeks, really, to uh, explore all these places. City Hall financial district and this is a Freemason's Lodge we're gonna go inside here there's a tour you can take I don't know much about the Freemasons actually pretty much nothing all I do know is I see those signs in many towns in America many cities many many places in the world somewhat of a secretive society fraternity and there's all sorts of conspiracies about the Freemasons. I'm gonna meet my wife. She's gonna meet me on the tour. Here we go, Masonic Temple. Freemason Lodge. This is so beautiful. I haven't seen anything yet. You actually go into those different rooms and you'll see them, so. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome, thank you. Yes, sir. It's not a religion. Each state has their own Grand Lodge. Okay. And each state runs their own Masonic program. This room is called Oriental Hall. We're gonna have the Worshipful Master, the Secretary to take minutes, the Treasurer to tell us that we forgot to pay our dues all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and then his junior warden, senior warden behind you. It was the Freemason, the, we take our traditions from the, uh, what we call the operative stonemasons. Mm -hmm. Operative meaning they were the ones who actually had the hammer and chisel and they were cutting the stones. When the Masons come in for their meetings, they might just go straight to their lodge room or they often come in here and they sit and they chat before they go up to their lodge room. All those backings? 23 karat gold? Yeah, all that. That's 23 karat gold leaf. It's not gold paint. Wow. The portraits of the men hanging in this room on the wall uh -huh. are living past Grand Masters. Grand Masters are in charge of the state's Masonic program for a period of two years in Pennsylvania. Solid bronze, one ton. How long did he say it, it took them to paint this? 34 years? <laughs> Guys, I think it was 34 years to paint this whole place. Okay, we're up before anyone else. And uh, I gotta say, the feeling here, there's a very powerful feeling. Do you feel that, love? Yeah. Like a very intense, grounded feeling. Yeah, I have no idea what goes on in here. It's your idea. We're gonna do two year tour, uh, terms. I was gonna say two years, part of military. Two year terms. Uh-huh. So they only do two year terms. Now. Okay. And do they get voted in? Yeah. 
Okay. It's kind of technically yes. Uh huh. But it's kind of a thing, just like in the lodges where you move up. It's kind of a thing where they're in their grand lodge position. They kind of move up. And fourteen presidents have been Freemasons. I can't name them all. <laughs> it goes all the way down, and the counterbalance is underneath that wall. Any profession can join. Any profession can join. Yep. What about the esoteric? There's lots of esoteric masons, yeah. as we call them. Yep. <laughs> I'm just an astrologer, that's why I'm like... Oh, I, I love... <laughs> my my huge astrology Freemasonry was the symbology and the mystery behind it. And yeah. I mean, I'm sure you're looking around, but you'll, you'll notice these symbols. Oh, the... Yeah. And look at the symbols down there. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Beautiful. Can anybody guess the name of this one? Egyptian? The, the Egyptian. <laughs> exactly. This, yeah. Yes. This is Egyptian Hall. Wow. Now this, we have had archaeologists and Egyptologists come in this room and they have looked at... This is unbelievable, guys. They have looked at the painting and they have looked Downtown at the... Downtown Philadelphia. And they have looked at the hieroglyphics and the paintings are accurate and the hieroglyphics are 100% real. Many different symbols up here. Janus symbol. I saw the Star of David somewhere. Two things they can't talk about, religion or politics. Yeah. Yeah. As you look around, you can see what looks like a lot of Celtic knots, mm -hmm. or at least the Celtic influence in the painting on the walls. But then if you look up, you see the wood cross beams, and then these four panes down along here, they represent the four cardinal virtues of temperance, fortitude, prudence, and justice. This is copied from various churches and cathedrals that were built in Italy during the Renaissance building period. We did copy this from different churches and cathedrals, Sistine Chapel. So they're in there as perfect copies, but we leave them blank because again, Freemasonry is not a religion. We don't practice any religion here. This room is built to resemble an outdoor Greek amphitheater. The most popular thing that happens here is a wedding. Uh, you do not have to be a Freemason or have any Masonic ties to have a wedding here. We haven't had our wedding yet. <laughs> oh! <laughs> You can have a wedding here. <laughs> what funds all of the Freemasons right now? Like, as a member, you have to pay dues? Yeah, we fund ourselves. A lot of big name donors. Okay. We have a lot of people who, when they pass, they leave us large sums of money. And we have investors. And that's what pays our bills. And we supplement with weddings and other things. That was quite eye opening, huh? Wow, that was so amazing. All the uh, symbology, all the astro astrological. Wow. Everything. Just amazing. So beautiful. Wow. It's like you go into another world or something. That was totally another world. Yeah. All right. Definitely got to uh, learn more about that. Yeah. Like you said, you might be like um, some high up level businessman. Uh -huh. You can't be a president. Right. But you come in that door. And you're sort of on the same on the same level, but there is another hierarchy. Yeah, the thing I'd like to mention, though, because it is sort of a closed group. Like, I knew nothing about Freemasons. Yeah. I still don't know that much. Yeah. Uh, but there's a good energy in there. Everyone was cool to talk to. You know, yeah. everyone was Absolutely. well spoken and interesting and like a good vibe. Yeah, but they also seem interested. Like, yes, yes. They ask you questions, they want to hear your opinion. It's really interesting. I want to look into that more. Yeah. This is not a promotion of <laughs> Freemasonry, but it's just uh, a curious mind going into something that, well, I didn't know anything about and is often misrepresented. I think yeah. it's mis misrepresented because they have all this all, uh, symbology, right? Like, yeah. Star of David is everywhere. You see the swastika and all yes. these symbols existed before they turned into something else. Yes. This because is cool. Because it's closed and they have some secrets 
they still have some uh, secretive handshakes or something that they keep only within right. the members and maybe that secrets you know either spike the curiosity or they maybe scare people a little bit that's why they create all these conspiracy theories i think harvest weekend got a cafe here Cool little zone in the center of the city. Here's the famous Rocky statue. We're gonna go up on the stairs. Those are the stairs in the movie. Rocky Stairs, Philadelphia Museum of Art. One of the most famous museums in the country. And I think the world also. What a discovery, Philadelphia. It was a surprise to me. And always cool to get that in your home country when you least expect it. All right, guys, until next one.